Look, you can uh, you can change the lights, the colors. Check it out. Hold on. Woo! It's supposed to be pink. I don't know if that's coming up. All right, let's go with blue. We got some blue. Nah. All right. Okay. Hey everybody, this is Redhead Goes Healthy, and welcome back to my channel. Uh -huh. Week two, week two, meaning there has been one full week dedicated to tracking my calories, doing my exercises, and just overall being an awesome version of myself. This is Fearless Fridays, in case you don't know. This is where I share with you all my exercise for the week. I'm gonna share with you my calorie counting for the week, how that went. Basically all things related to my body and how I'm trying to improve my fitness level, let's just go with that. How to become a better bodily version of Redhead Goes Healthy. That's what this is about. This is the weigh-in video, let's just be real. It's all about the weigh-in, which I'll get to, but let's talk about my week. So I managed to track every single day except for one day. All right, so this is the planner that I use to track my calories and my food intake. This is the James Clear Habit Tracker Planner. I will link it below. It is essentially a, a blank journal that you can do whatever you want with. And then in the back, he's got, I think I said this in one of the last videos, but he's got like a habit tracker section that's pretty cool. And then tips for like how to use it. So I am using it primarily to track my calories every day. So uh, I, we're gonna go back to August, I think 19th was the Friday that I uploaded my videos. So basically like I have all my food here, I've got my calories here. What I really like to do, I don't know if other people do this, I like to plan out like everything I wanna eat then I will put the calories here. And then if I end up eating it, I'll put a check mark next to it. So what I also have been doing is tracking how many calories I'm burning with my Apple Watch. And then again, how many calories I've consumed. And then here is that deficit. So on Friday, August 19th, I made a deficit of 775. Did the same thing the next day. This was uh, 710. And then the next day, should be Sunday, I got a deficit of 445. And the next day was a deficit of uh, 880. And then uh, on Tuesday, a deficit of 700. And then Wednesday, I didn't track anything, right? Uh, and so I kind of estimated, I burned a lot of calories because there's a lot of walking around. Uh, but I estimated a deficit of 700 based on what I was drinking that day, what I was eating. I am not sure about this day. So for me, I was just kind of like, nope, I didn't actually do it. And then Thursday, I uh, basically down here, Burned 2,400, consumed 1,800, and so that was the deficit, that's 600, terrible handwriting. So that number should result in at least a pound loss, right? Like to lose a pound, it's supposed to be 3,500 calories, and I went over that by a little bit. So stay tuned to see if my weigh-in uh, reflects that 4,800 calorie deficit. And of course we have to talk about how I did my workouts. What did I do to exercise? Mainly I use the thing that's right behind me here, my bike. So I love that thing. If you're thinking of getting a Peloton bike, I really think you should just go for it. it now it's on Amazon, but it means that you have to assemble it yourself. So totally up to you. I had somebody deliver it and assemble it for me. But if you are a handy person, if you're married to a handy person, it might be a good investment. There was only one day, the Friday where I filmed my video last week, I managed to actually get outside and go for a walk. But the weather here has just been so humid and gross. And being somebody that grew up in California, I cannot stand humidity. So I just stayed indoors and I did my Peloton workout. So check it out.
you know, in terms of intermittent fasting or IF, I have continued to really enjoy it. I don't find it to be that challenging and I do find that it really does help me to reduce the amount of calories that I'm consuming every day without even trying. I will say still about like an hour before I, I you know, start eating my eating window, I definitely feel like a lack of energy. There are times when even still, I know I'm tapping into some energy reserves and I think it's all my fat. That's what I'm tapping into if we're being real. And I love that feeling, but it's not something that I can rely on consistently. So I, this week was a lot of like work stuff. Like we're back, we're back at it. We're back in the office. And I found that my ability to just tolerate basic conversation when it was close to, you know, when I was allowed to eat again, I just was so hangry. And I don't know how to deal with that. I don't know how to handle that. I'm still wrestling with it. I'm working on it. So I think I'm just gonna keep doing intermittent fasting for, for a while. And I actually, like I said before, I kind of see this as my lifestyle whenever I can do it. All right, so weigh in time. Last week I was 181.8. This week I am 180.6. Guys, it's like so accurate with the numbers. I mean, is that seriously the secret to all of this is you just have to like track your calories and use a, an Apple watch to determine how many calories you burn? Did I just take the mystery out of losing weight? I don't know. I'm happy with it. It's exactly right. Of course, I'm not thrilled that I'm, you know, so close to being in the 170s again. And clearly this means that even with Shark Week, I did gain weight those last two weeks after my 21 day challenge. I'm okay with it. it, it makes sense. And now I'm back on track. So I will continue to track and hopefully lose another pound or two, we'll see. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for Soulful Saturdays for meditating and also Monday, Mindful Mondays. We're reading James Clear's Atomic Habits. It is awesome. We just do one chapter a week. And if you wanna get the book, feel free to get it, catch up with us. It's a virtual book club and I love it. So I will see you guys very soon.